Hi guys, my name is Colton and uh, I'm going to take you on a lesson on how to create a DTM in SEPAC. First thing you do is select a, a working directory, like what you've taught you from the last lesson is how to create a working directory and how to import coordinates into SEPAC. Now I just opened the string file that I have saved previously drag it to the to the zipper now firstly i will show you how to edit this uh so that uh when you are creating a dtm when there are lines crossing they won't it, it won't read and it won't make a dtm so firstly i have to go to edit then string segment edit, then segment break. What I'm trying to do will be breaking everywhere the lines cross. Okay, I'm editing my data as it is. I know where I went and how I, I, I did it when I was collecting the data. So when you're editing, you have to make sure that there are no lines which are crossing each other. Okay, like, like so. So you'll be use screen edit then you go again to edit segment join you will be joining the gaps if there is need to join the gaps where the statement ends like what i'm doing you just click where you want to join if they are the same string number they will join if they are not if you can read that the points selected are on the same segment which means it's okay we have done our edit that's the edit we wanted to do joining and point break after you do that save your file right now i want to change and save it as a DT, new dtm uh, dtm then apply after that you go to that red button on top there then you press it so it can restart all your graphics after that I drag the new DTM into the box that's the thing that we have then I select surfaces now you are creating the DTM surfaces then you go to create dtm it's on the top create dtm from layer then object id you will be selecting the color again it's the same as strings you'll be selecting the color that you want for the strings or for the object in this case if you notice let me go back this one the outer one which is which is my in this case is my tool let me go again and display point I the point attributes that's where you will see the points names so you say apply or you see that b b b b this one was taken as the bottom and t for the top so to remove the numbers again i go to display high stream attributes then apply see so i want to work with it without the number so that it can be clear for me and for you guys so again we let's go to surfaces create dtm then i select number two you can select whatever number you want i want number two because number two my bottom is number one and my uh top is number six so i want you to so that you can see then you say apply here we go that's the dtm you already created the dtm then you say save remember now file name usually i keep the file name and put the number of the dtm the number that i have used is my dtm id so, so that when i'm doing the volume calculations later on you will discover how i will use this one so a new dtm then i put a two since i have used two to identify the to, to make the item then i apply then it's saved 
then I reset again the web versions, reset graphics, then everything is clear. Then you can drag your GTM. Let's see, that's where our GTM is. Now I want to show you what happens if you don't break those points which are intersecting. Again, go to reset so that I can bring all up the raw data that we have used previously. So I have loaded the raw data, then I go to surfaces again, create GTM, again object ID, I'm using two or three for this one, let me just have three. If you say apply, like check warning, three breaking intersection found, cannot cannot form it at the GTM it's because there are some intersection in the GTM so, so that's the warning that usually people get when they are trying to make a GTM so I have taught you how to break them and I have taught you how to make a GTM and the possible ones that you get this thing only needs you to edit again you go to edit point segments segment break don't forget segment break then you do what we have done already just a recap what we did earlier then you edit like this once you're done you see there are no more points which are crossing intersecting so we are done hope you enjoyed this video i will take you another video that you will upload which will show you how to calculate the volume